Okay, so a little bit more about lower heating value and higher heating value. Just to remind you, the higher heating value is the, uh, the gross calorific value. It's all the energy that's stored in that material when it's, uh, when it's combusted. And even though we may be creating steam, which is then, or producing water molecules, which are then turned into steam, evaporated, we will recover that energy. That latent heat evaporation is recovered. With the lower heating value, it's the energy that's left over after a lot of energy has gone into producing uh, the steam or, or evaporating the water. So you really notice the difference. For example, if you're dealing with wet wood and dry wood, uh, the lower heating value is the thing you need to be thinking about unless you have some sort of condensing system. A wet wood, you'll get very, very little heat out of it when you burn it on a fire. It's pretty pointless. Uh, but if you're looking at something like carbon, maybe coal, um, the lower heating value and the higher heating value are the same because all you're producing when you burn coal is carbon dioxide. Uh, you're not producing any water. So those two would be the same. So the lower heating value and the higher heating value are the same. Whereas methane, CH4, because you're producing water, those things are not the same. So when people report this embedded energy, this energy that's stored in a material, find out if they're using lower heating value or higher heating value. If you find discrepancies in there, they may be because they simply haven't said whether they're using lower heating or higher heating values. So, just to emphasise one more time, that is the embedded energy. And the reason I'm going on about this is because so many people make mistakes and mix up the two. So this is embedded energy, energy that's stored in something. <laughs>